speaking of Terrence, uh, Terrence Broadway's a winner. And really proud of the way he led this team tonight, got us in the right checks, ran the ball well when he ran the ball. Uh, and just to see him manage the game out there the way he managed the game and took care of the football and led our team to our you know, third, third conference win. And he's doing a great job of keeping this team grounded and focused, so really proud of him. But, you know, talking about the game, you know, that was our whole goal coming in, like Terrence said, was to be 3-0 in the conference. And we wanted to come in, and, and we talked about it all week. We knew they were they're a very talented team. They've got a lot of talented players. And you look at some of the games they've won, and how they've played with a lot of people, played with Tennessee, you know, for a long time, played very well against them. Uh, but we, we felt like, you know, we wanted to show that we were a physical or the more physical football team. And that was a goal of ours, and I think we ended up rushing, you know, for 400, 400 some odd yards tonight. Uh, so just uh, really proud of our offensive line, proud of our backs. I think Elijah had 265 and four TDs. And then Alonzo rushed for over 100, and uh, we're undefeated here in the last three or four years when Alonzo rushes for 100 yards. <coughs> but uh, very proud of the offense, very proud of the way they prepared, the way they played, came out tonight. Uh, overcame a lot of things uh, defensively. I tell you, our, our defense continues to improve. Tonight we got a, you know another turnover and we scored on the turnover. So we created points defensively. Gave up a, a couple of long plays, but I'm gonna tell you, give them credit. They had some tough plays that were tough to defend. One of the long plays was a play we thought we had the guy tackled. We get up and he sort of rolls over on the guy and takes off running down the field. Either right or wrong, either way, you know, to me, I told the defense that wasn't on them. Regardless, I said, you, you stopped them, you did what you were told to do. I said, I'll take, take the rest. So to me, that was a stop on their part, sort of fluke thing that happened. And uh, we got to learn from that. We got to make sure we get his knee on the ground or something if he didn't. So, so that was one big play to me that really didn't give up. And I thought, uh, you know, a couple big plays, we've got to do a better job of eliminating. But overall, defensively, I thought we set the edge much better. Uh, I thought we got pressure on the quarterback. We lost contain a couple of times, but we got pressure on the quarterback. And we got to continue to do that. I thought Daniel Cadona was a big difference in the game tonight. Not just pinning them deep with some critical pooch punts, but really turning the entire field position the other way. It was an incredible uh, punts uh, off the rugby and off the regular uh, punt formations. And so I thought he was critical tonight. I thought our special teams were outstanding. Uh, our hands team converted twice uh, at the end of the game, which was critical. Uh, and, you know, and I, they're, they're pretty good, too, in their special teams. They put a lot of pressure on you, and our guys handled it pretty well. So proud of the way we prepared, proud of the way we practiced, played, proud that we played physical, proud we had a great crowd tonight uh, that was into the game loud. I know it had to be a great showcase for our university and our community and city on national TV tonight. So with that, open up any questions. Coach, the, the fake punt they had down there was fourth and eleven on their eight yard line. Did it like just shock you when they did that? It, it, it did. It did, but it didn't surprise me uh, because they they do a lot of fakes. They put a lot of stress on you uh, with all the fakes and, and stuff they do. Um, but uh, that was a that was a tough one. That was a big turning point right there. Uh, great job by our defense sniffing it out, playing sound. And, uh, and making a play. What were the adjustments you made after the first two possessions? Because they went well, up and down the, the field. The one long run they made, we overran it. Uh, the box guys have to play the box. And one of our inside linebackers overran the quarterback going to the running back, and the quarterback cut underneath him. It was uh, just a fundamental breakdown. So we got back to the sidelines and said, hey guys, inside guys have got to stay a step behind the quarterback, play them inside out. It was a play that we overran. Then we overran another longer play later on and cut back behind everybody. So we, we were really flying to the football, but we, we didn't play uh, uh, within the scheme of the defense a couple of times. And so we got them over there and said, listen, guys, settle down, do your job, don't worry about somebody else's job. And then, you know, for the most part, I thought we did, did pretty good. This unit was ranked 20. How, how, how big was the pass intercepted by uh, Trim? Did you feel that was one of the turning points there? Yeah, there was a couple of turning points in the game, but that definitely was one of them. And like I said, Trim played well. Um, gave up, you know, the touchdown at the end to the big 6-6 six, six tight end. Trim just can't jump quite that high. Uh, God dunked it on him right there on the But uh, But he also made a lot of plays tonight before he did. 
that was a, really into the game as well as our guys. Our guys were into the game. They were into practice all week. Uh, they, they came tonight to, to win this game. This unit was ranked 21st in rush defense coming into the game. You pile up 400. What, what did you see in field that you thought you maybe could exploit? And also, what, what did this kind of, you know, what statement did the offense make with this kind of showing? Well, you know, coming into the game, you know, you know, they were very good against the run. They've got one of the best linebackers in the country. Phenomenal player. Um, but we, we felt like our offensive line against their D-line was, was somewhat of, a, of an advantage. We felt like if you look on, you know, look at the at them on film, we felt like we could have some success there. Uh, never for sure, but we really felt like we could. And we was able to get some movement up front, and uh, our backs ran, ran, ran strong. And so we did, did some nice things. Coach Terrence was obviously highly upset on the final extra point, and your thoughts on that and the way the game ended? Yeah, you know, that's never the way you want a game to end. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to go back and see the film. Uh, I thought the game got a little too chippy uh, throughout the game. Should have never got to that point. And to, the, to me, that's where the people in charge of keeping that in the proper jurisdiction to keep that under control. But, but we've got to do a better job of not not falling into that. And uh, but then never want a game like that to the end like that. You can tell there's two teams that like getting after one another right there. Two teams that, that love competing against one another. They've got a good program. Blake does a really good job. He's a good coach. They're well coached. Joe Coffin, their their DC and I go way back. Uh, I think they're a group of class guys. So you know this this is not a deal about point fans, about how the game ended. It's just one of those unfortunate things where the chippiness throughout the second half sort of escalated and wish it happened. Uh, but our, our guys, you know, you always are trying to stand up for your guys, and they just felt like something at the end wasn't wasn't uh, up to. Up to par, but we'll go back and look at it and try to try to improve and try to get better. What was y'all's exchange like in the, in the handshake there? Oh, it's fine. You know, we, we talked about it. We, we both hated that the, that the fourth quarter and second half sort of uh, got like that because you know we don't stand for that, and I know Blake doesn't either. I know they, they've got a class program, do a good job, and so we agreed right there that we both you know wished it hadn't happened, and we both need to do a better job of, um, of making sure that don't in the future. But I think. People in charge of that can keep that from happening too. Coach, big picture, three and zero in the conference can't be better than undefeated so far. You know that that was our new goal of, of the year was to be three and zero in the conference, and, and we have eliminated all these big talks to where the season started. You know, and, and where we should have been earlier in the year, of being one zero to be a two and zero. You know, just taking one game at a time, and like we've done for the first three years. And when we're in that mindset, we are pretty good, and so we will continue to stay in that mindset. Um, so what well, kids will have off tomorrow, they'll come back Thursday. We'll get a bonus practice on Thursday. Uh, we'll work out, film prep on Friday, and then uh, they'll have Saturday off and we'll have game week for a normal game week finally. Sunday will actually be a Sunday, uh, next next Sunday. So uh, and we, we've got we've, we've got to get to work in a hurry because South Alabama is a really good team. That got after us last year. Joey Jones does a phenomenal job there. It'll be a huge challenge. So uh, we've got to get back to work. We'll enjoy this one tonight, though. Let me tell you, we're going to enjoy this one tonight. Maybe a few minutes in the morning. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, it is the morning. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, we're going to enjoy this one for, four, for 24 hours, uh, maybe till 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, <laughs> noon. Uh, so, uh, Coach, after but, those three losses in a row, did it take some mental resetting to get guys back on track? And where are you now versus yeah, that time? It, it did because man, they, they were really hurt because – we really, when you look at it, we, we, we did a lot of good things those first three games, but we turned the ball over so much, and we didn't get any turnovers. And I, I knew we could run the ball. We rushed for 200 yards against Ole Miss. I mean, Tennessee rushed for zero. And so, you know, and tonight we rushed for 400. So we knew we could run the ball, and uh, we just didn't click early. Uh, it's my fault for not having us clicking early. But you know what? Our kids, like you said, we sort of reset we had a new season with the entire conference schedule ahead of us. So it's a great opportunity to reset, start again, keep the main thing the main thing, and that's following our plan to win and uh, keeping taking it one game at a time. So proud of our coaches, proud of our defensive coaches tonight, offensive coaches, great job. I just thought we uh, did, some, did some nice things uh, on both sides of the ball. Still, though, always, as always, a lot of room for improvement.
anything preliminary on Quave or, or Winston? No, not not yet. We'll have to, uh, when I leave here, I'm going to go to the training room and see where we're at. He didn't look good, but uh, we'll see where we're at. Anything else? All right, guys. Thanks a lot. All right, next up we've got.